Greetings Claremont County ESC employees. This video is designed to help you complete our new electronic mileage submission. If you are an administrator, an administrative assistant, a sign language interpreter, an itinerant teacher, a district nurse, an occupational therapist, physical therapist, speech therapist, or school psychologist, you may find yourself having to submit for mileage reimbursement. I will show you how to do this on our new electronic mileage submission form through our on-base system. You will start by going to the Claremont County ESC website. You will click on menu. Under employee tools, you will see an option for on-base. Once you click on on-base, you will log in. If you have used OnBase before, you will just put in your normal password. If you have never accessed OnBase, you will be notified of a temporary password. Once you get that temporary password, you can then change it to something that you will remember. So I am going to log in right now. Your username for OnBase is gonna be CESC, which stands for Claremont, ESC. It'll be your first initial and your last name. Your password, as I said, you should know if you've logged in before. If you have not, you'll be sent that temporary password. Once you are logged into OnBase, you will go to Document Retrieval and you will go down to Documents here and new form. Each person's on-base account may look different. You'll see what my options are. I can do a mileage and parking expense form, I can do a recommendation for employment, or I can do a vendor invoice. Today we're talking about mileage and so we'll do the mileage and parking expense form. This is the mileage and parking expense form. So first things first, You'll fill out the month. I'm gonna select the month of August in the year 2022. And I will put what my job is. And I'll start logging mileage. So suppose on August 3rd, I went from the Claremont County ESC main building to CEC North. And then I came back to the main building. So you see I've gone from CCESC to CEC North and back to CE, CCESC. So that is a round trip and the mileage for that round trip is about 14 miles. So I'll enter 14 miles. I have no parking for this trip and then I'll hit add. When I hit add, you will see here at the bottom, it has a total number of miles it has my mileage rate and how much that trip will cost as far as reimbursement. I'm gonna add another line just so you can see how it works. I'm gonna do August 8th. And on this day, I'm gonna go from CCESC to UC Claremont. And let's say that that trip is mm, 10 miles. So I've just hit enter and you'll see that this bottom total mileage has changed. You'll see that my total has changed, okay? Now, you have a couple of options for submitting your mileage. Now, me personally, I do my trips as they occur. So on August 3rd, I would have entered this first one. On August 8th, I would have entered this entry. Obviously, I'm still in early August, so I'm gonna need to come back to this form. I'll show you how to come back to the form here in a minute. However, if you are a person who likes to do their mileage at the end of the month, you enter all of your trips, all of your mileage, you would let the system add it up for you, and then you would hit save for submission, okay? If you have parking receipts, you can attach those here, just an, uh, an upload 
of your uh, receipt would be sufficient, but you can attach those there. I'm gonna save my submission form for later, okay? So what I'm gonna do is check this save for later box, and then I'm gonna save my changes over here on the right side. It asks me, would I like to complete another form? I'm gonna say no. If I do wanna complete another form, obviously you're gonna say yes, and you can start a new mileage form. Typically you would do that for a different month. So I'm gonna hit no, and I'm done with this part of the mileage submission. So you might be thinking, okay, it's next week and I have more trips to enter. How do I do that? So you log in to OnBase again from that starting uh, login menu. And instead of new form, you're gonna go down to workflow, okay? You hit open workflow, and you're gonna go into mileage requests. You may have two options here, you may have one, okay? You're gonna go to mileage requests waiting action because that's what you sent for later. You sent that through to save for later. So this is the mileage form that I just started a few minutes ago. And you can see the date, the year, my name and my position. And you can see the entries that I have entered, okay? If I wanna add more, I'm gonna go to add. And then I can put more dates, okay? I'm gonna do August 17. I left the main office and I went to, let's say I went to Columbus for a conference, okay? And then I went home. Okay, so that's gonna be a round trip. We'll say it's 210 miles, okay? So you see my total mileage added up, my reimbursement amount added up as well, okay? So now, at the end of the month, when you are ready to submit for your reimbursement, you will, well, you'll wanna save your changes to make sure this last entry is saved on your form. And then what you'll do is you'll send for approval, okay? I'm gonna click this button. And one or more items requires my attention. Let's see what happens here. That looks like I need to, oh, I don't need to change anything. So it went through, okay? That is how you submit your mileage. When you send it for approval, It'll go directly to uh, your supervisor, and then your supervisor will approve your mileage, and it will go directly to our accounts payable person, which is Donna Harbottle. Donna will cut you a paper check for your mileage reimbursement. It will not be direct deposit. It will be a paper check. You also need to know that if you have less than $20 at the end of the month, please wait until the next month to submit your mileage or wait until you have more than $20 to submit your mileage. That's how the process goes. I also wanna note if you need to change your password, because some of you have not logged into OnBase just yet. So once you use that temporary password and you need to uh, change that password, you go up to your name in that top right corner, you click that down arrow, and you can change your password here, okay? This gives you space to enter your old password, your new password, and then you'll verify that password. If you have any questions about mileage submission, contact your supervisor, you can contact Human Resources, and you can also contact Accounts Payable. Thank you for watching. Be safe out there driving.